This is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on how you can use MobileMe on your Mac. MobileMe has a lot of functions. If you're considering purchasing it, it's $99 for a year for 20 gigabytes and all the other features. This might help you make a decision. So I'm here at me.com. You get an email address. I log in. MobileMe, you can get email. You can have your contacts. You can synchronize them with your iPhone. You can also have calendar. Keep track of events that you've got coming up, like Christmas. You can have an online gallery where you keep photos and albums. You can also give family and friends permission to view the photos, upload photos, download the photos, and so on. Very handy feature. The iDisk, which is the disk space for your mobile me. And then there's also Find My iPhone. You can click on that. Ask you to put in your password. And now it's looking and it's trying to find your iPhone no matter where it might be. Right now it's offline. So it can't find it. But if it was on, it could find your iPhone from here and you can remotely wipe it. And there are also some account settings. So this is an overview of some of the things you can use Mobile Me for. It's great for being able to share photos, place to put files that you want to be able to access from any place where there's an internet connection, and lots more. That's Mobile Me. That's what you can use it for, and that's all there is to it. 